Hello YouTube. What you're looking at in this one shot is several things working together to power my house when the Texas power grid goes down next time. Uh, have a Champion 100 520 generator. It's good for 7,000 running watts and 8750 peak. I'm also using natural gas with my US carburation motor snorkel. Uh, install was a breeze. Sorry I don't have the video for that. All you have to do for this generator is take off your um, air filter box and install the motor snorkel right there between the air filter box and the carburetor. Bolt it to your frame, zip tie the gas hose out of the way. That's pretty much it. There's a little gas adjustment knob up here that you'll have to tweak to get the uh, perfect RPMs. But my natural gas powers my champion generator enough to run my three and a half ton AC unit. All thanks to my Micro Air Easy Start. That, uh, that's a lifesaver right there. Highly recommend that. Even if you aren't running on generator power, the Micro Air Easy Start starts up your compressor and runs it super smooth. Um, it's supposed to give you longer life on your outdoor AC unit. Uh, so, I've got my natural gas hooked up, turned on, plugged into the back of my generator, got the line purged. All you have to do is give it a start. It's really that easy. Once you purge the air out of your natural gas line and hit the switch, you'll get the green light. It means you're good to go. I'm going to switch over my interlock to generator power and go inside and turn on my AC. This screen that you're looking at now is the mobile app for my Sense Home Energy Monitor. Just like the name states, it's a home energy monitor. This is a cool little device that goes inside your breaker panel and has the ability to detect devices and show you their usage. This is a great tool if you're trying to conserve energy or learn about your home energy use. It's also cool if you have solar power because it can show you your generation and your usage. I'm using this to show you the magic that happens when your Easy Start ramps up your air conditioning to make it manageable for your portable home backup generator. As you can see in my first spike, it's about 1,400-1,500 watts. That allows your generator to kick on, ramp up, and make your power output more so that when the Easy Start releases the rest of your air conditioning load, you can see on my unit it's about 2,000 watts. The generator was able to power through the whole cycle and keep the air conditioning running. Now that my Easy Start has done its job, my generator is able to keep up with the load. As you can see, it's 52. It settles down to around 5,000 but the generator is able to keep up with that on natural gas. My Champion generator is rated for 7,000 watts on gasoline, which it happily does, but since my unit is running on natural gas, it's only rated for about 5,500 watts. If you're interested in how to install the Easy Start in one of my previous videos, I show you how and go into a little more detail about how it works. Some of you may have noticed that my Sense is reporting my home energy usage while running on my portable backup home generator. According to Sense, at the time of this movie, they did not have a way for this to be possible, but I found a way. I have made Sense aware of my findings, and hopefully they support it soon. I'm also going to be making a video in the near future about how to make this possible at your home. So subscribe and keep an eye out. Here we are back outside to show you everything working together and to tell you a little bit about this build. Our research led us to Champion Generators because of their reputation, customer service, warranty, and most important, price point. 7,000 watts is our house's magic number. We have three bedrooms, three baths, two children, and two adults. That takes care of all of our critical appliances as well as our AC. If the need arises to do some laundry or use the microwave, we can wait between air conditioning cycles or simply turn off the air conditioner. And why we chose an inverter generator is because they put out cleaner power as compared to conventional generators. This is important because newer devices such as smart TVs, other smart devices, and some air conditioners can be sensitive to dirty power which may lead to their malfunction or worse, failure. Being where we are in Texas, natural gas is abundant and cheap. So we chose to do natural gas as our fuel 
because waiting in line at a gas station that doesn't have any power doesn't get you any gas. Also, to run our AC, we chose MicroAir as our brand as they have a great reputation, customer service, and warranty too. All these things come together to keep our lights on during the power outages here in the south. And just to show you that our generator was powering our AC off of natural gas, I'll go ahead and cut the fuel stream so that it cuts off. If you liked what you saw and found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching.